Hi everyone, this is Annette. Welcome to my scrapbooking corner. I have pages 9 and 10 and sorry my cat's up here. I'm trying to keep her out of the camera. Anyway, so I have 9 and 10 and I this is the January 2012 sorry, uh, Club Scrap and this is I'm sorry, she's trying to keep her away. Um, and this is what I'm working from. Alright, so with that, let's get started. Alright, so I made this background using a stamp that came in the kit and a green and blue ink. And then I have that strip, which is 2 by 11, or 2 by 12. That's me, 12. Anyway. That's what I'm showing you there, how I did the stamping. <clears throat> and then I have those two pieces, which are eight and a half by eleven sheets. One's a pattern, and one's just the opposite side. Reverse side, and one's laid portrait landscape. The first page is laid landscape, and the second page is laid portrait. And uh, so I was showing you both pages, and now I'm working on just one, so I'm just adhering it down. And then that tag is, both of those are punch aparts. And then I put a brad in through the hole. And what it is, is it's two different punch aparts, two different patterns. And then the, that teal color tag is, is layered over top another tag, a um, slightly larger tag. Hey, Roxy. Roxy's in here with me. She wouldn't come out there, so I had to put Coco in her kennel, put Coco to bed in the kennel, and Roxy's in the bed with me, chewing on a bone. And now I'm going to do the photo mat, which I have. Um, the photo is five and a half by four. And then that's um, coral melon is uh, seven and three quarters by four and a half, maybe. Uh, I don't have the layout in front of me, so I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to say it's seven and three quarters by four and a half. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then I have that punch apart frame at the bottom. Actually, this layout, I do, these layouts I do, this is Navajo, these layouts I do have here. I was thinking they were at school with my other, with my scrapbook, but that's right. I had my uh, uh, Aurora Borealis layout at school. The scrapbook that has those in there was at school. I was thinking these were too, but actually I could go get these ones. I do have these 
this is in Coco's scrapbook. Anyway, so that frame is a punch apart. And then I will put that piece of fiber on that come in the kit. And then my photos, or my photo mats, are three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And they'll fit a three by three photo. And then I have three smaller piece photo mats at the bottom of the layout that are two by two. And will fit a one and three quarter by one and three quarter inch photo. And there they are there. Actually I have four of them so those gotta be smaller. Oh I think I cut those at uh, one and a half by one and a half. No. Okay, hold on a minute. No, I didn't. Never mind. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, I did not. It is one, two by two. Coco. Shush. Coco. She's having an issue with Roxy being on the bed with me. Coco. You want to spank in? Go go! I apologize. All right, so we got the dog to stop. So I was trying to debate whether or not I wanted to put a fourth one there because I do not have in the instructions the sample layout that I go by. Um, it has the, some arrow stamps, and I don't have those because with this kit I did not get. Border. I just got the normal club scrap stamps. I did not get the borders and backgrounds until later. Until later kits. So this is where I decide that maybe I'll do a row of three hearts in substitution of the arrows. And then I just put tape on the back so they don't get, when I try to slide in a page in behind this one, it won't get, the page won't get caught up on the breads. And then this is all that I do. So I thank you for watching, and when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Bye.